Hello friends, this video on basic geometrical ideas part 19 is brought to you by examfear.com. No more fear from exam. So now we will talk about another interesting geometrical shape that is circle. Now circle is not a polygon because here we do not deal with line segments. So this is a very interesting geometrical figure. We see circles in so many things. Bangle, the best example of a circle. Coin, a tire or a wheel. So in all of these, you see circles. So what exactly is a circle? Because here we see that we do not have line segments. We just see a round shape, a, a curved thing, which is like perfectly round. So what, what is a circle? What are the properties or what are the features of a circle? Because circle is going to be a little different from the polygons that we have been studying till now. So let us first try to understand what a circle is. So how do we define a circle? The circle as we can see is a closed curve. This is also a simple closed curve because it doesn't intersect anywhere. I mean it doesn't cross over itself. It doesn't intersect itself. So it is definitely a simple closed curve. But what beyond a simple closed curve? Because every polygon is also a simple closed curve. So what other speciality can be defined in a circle? Now we can say that circle is nothing but a combination of points. Now when you look at this circle, this is nothing but it is formed by multiple points which have been placed in this pattern such that every point is equidistant. That means is at equal distance from the center. So center is this point which is at the, which is located in such a way that each and every point is at the same distance from the center. So you think of any point on this circle. Each and every point will be at the same distance from the center. So that is what exactly defines a circle. Because this is a property which wasn't true for any of the polygons. Which, which is not true for, not, for all geometrical figures. So this is true for circle. So basically this defines a circle that there is a specific point called center such that all the points on the circle are at equal distance from the center. So that is a circle. Now in a circle we have many different parts and these might be new terms to you. So let us quickly look at the different parts of a circle. First is center. As I was telling just now it is that point from which all the points on the circle are equidistant. So th that point is strategically located here because a center cannot be located outside because even if you think that okay I do not like center to be located here I want it to be located somewhere here but if, if you keep it here not all the points will be at same distance from this point because if you look at a point here the distance would be only this much but when you look at a point here the distance would be huge so it has to be located in such a way that all the points are at the same distance from the center and that is why the center is located here next is radius it is the line segment that joins the center with a point on the circle so any point you consider any point on the circle and draw a line segment joining that point and the center so this would be the radius. So we normally denote it with a small r. So basically every circle will have a constant value of radius. So if you have a small circle like this, in that case the value of the radius will be small. If you have a big circle like this, in this case the value of the radius will be more. So bigger the radius, bigger the circle. Next is diameter. It is a line segment that joins two exactly opposite points on the circle. So let's consider two points on the circle. Let's say we have one point here and the exactly opposite point. Where will the exactly opposite point located? It will be located here. Right? This is, this, these are the two exactly opposite points and the line which joins these two exactly opposite points is called the diameter. Now every time you try to join two points which are located exactly opposite to each other, you think of any point, let's say I consider this point, which would be the point which is located exactly opposite to this point. This point, now when you try to join these two points, you would see that your line passes through the center. You think of any point you can think of on the screen, you think of this point, the exactly opposite point would be here. And when you join the two 
you see that the line passes through the center so basically any line that joins two exactly opposite points on a circle will always pass through the center that means diameter will always pass through the center and we have established a very beautiful relation that diameter is always twice the value of radius now looking at this picture itself you can say that that is correct that's because if this entire thing is your diameter and you know that the center is equidistant from all the points and what is the distance of the center from a particular point that is nothing but radius so what is the distance of the center from this point that is also radius so basically what is this this entire distance becomes r plus r that is 2r and this entire distance is defined as diameter. So diameter is equal to 2 times the radius of a circle. Next is arc. So arc is any portion, any particular portion of the circle. So this is the circle, right? Any part of the circle. If, if you cut this portion of the circle, what do you get? You get an arc like this. If you cut this portion of the circle, what will you get? You get an arc like this. So this is arc. So you cut, you consider any portion of the circle that's an arc. Next is chord. So chord is a line segment that joins any two points on the circle. Now see this is interesting. A lot of people confuse between diameter and chord. They are a little similar but they are different things. In case of chord we talk about any two points on the circle. Any means any. You think of any two points. You can think of a point like this and another point like this and you have a line joining these two points so this becomes your chord you think of a point here you think of another point here you join the two this becomes your chord you think of a point here you think of another point here you join the two this becomes your chord so chord is that line segment which joins any two points on the circle so those two points can be very close to each other those two points can be very far away from each other those two points can be located exactly opposite to each other also. So any line segment joining any two points on the circle is a chord. So what do we conclude from this? We conclude that diameter is also a chord because what, di what does diameter do? It connects or it joins two exactly opposite points on the circle. So we can say that diameter is a chord but not all chords are diameter because just now I gave the example of this chord. This is not diameter because it is joining two points but it is not joining two exactly opposite points. So basically a diameter is a chord but not all chords are diameter. This is very important. So that's why we have taken it up in a separate slide as well. So every diameter is a chord but not every chord is a diameter because whenever you talk about a diameter it is going to join two exactly opposite points. Basically it is going to join two points therefore it is a chord. But when we talk about a chord it can join any two points. Those two points can be located here and we call this as a chord. So this is a chord but this is not your diameter. But when you talk about a diameter it has to connect two exactly opposite points of the circle. So a diameter will always pass through the center. But not all chords pass through the center. Right? So therefore every diameter is a chord but not every chord is a diameter. Thank you. Please visit examfear.com for free quality education. You can learn with a simple four step learning process wherein you can watch video lessons, you can ask your questions, you can refer notes and you can take a free online test. We have content for class 6 to 12 on physics, chemistry, mathematics and biology along with practical videos. So please subscribe to our channel for daily updates. Thank you.